Hello everybody, this is Takeda Shinjin. I'm coming to you the day before pre-sale to go over our internal penetration testing report. This was done by our specialty security engineers in order to deliberately hack, break, and find vulnerabilities in the smart contract. This was done before giving the code over to PeckShield, our third-party auditor. Our team told me not to share this report, even though we fixed all the errors and potential attacks before submitting it to PeckShield. But I want to be 100% transparent with you. I want to show you what we did find and what we did fix. So I want to make sure that you see this report, and I want to make sure that you are confident the team behind this project is not just qualified, we are extremely, extremely capable of leading this. We're extremely qualified, and we know what we're doing. And once you see this report, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can always pause the video and read whatever it says. I'm not going to go through it line by line. That would be boring, and it would take long. I'm going to go over the main points. I want to show you how deep the team is and how careful they are. Not only were these vulnerabilities found, but a separate detailed solution was suggested for every single point. This is a confidential statement here. I want to show you how deep the team is and how careful they are. Not only were these vulnerabilities found, but a separate detailed solution was suggested for every single point. And you're going to see that in this report. I'm extremely proud of my guys. I'm extremely proud of the team. And I'm extremely proud of the hard work put in to make this project a go. We already have the pre-sale contract ready to rock, and we are going to be deploying it. We're already just ready for all the action this week. This is the document confidentiality statement right here. It just basically goes through that you can't share this, but I want to show it to you guys. I want to be transparent. So this is our battle stakes penetration testing report. Obviously, there's the table of contents. I'm not going to go through every single thing. Disclaimer is obvious, you know, that uh, we can't guarantee 100%, but everybody's going to put that. We always put that on everything. This was done about three weeks ago before we gave any documents or any code to PeckShield. So we had to do this. We had to fix any vulnerabilities, then give it to PeckShield. And the reason why PeckShield is taking a couple days longer is they suggested more things we could do to make sure that our gas is very efficient, that our code is more efficient, and we took that recommendation. We do not take it as something that is used against us or that we get insulted by it. No, we took it with stride. We're making sure that we corrected all the code this past weekend that they wanted us to correct and to make it efficient and to make everything work really, really well. So we expect a really nice report by Tuesday or Wednesday. If you feel that you are not confident enough to buy at pre-sale on Monday, it's okay. Just wait till Tuesday or Wednesday. As soon as we put out the report, you can go ahead and feel confident that you can buy the tokens at pre-sale. All right. This basically says that Battlestakes evaluated the security posture of its infrastructure compared to current industry best practices including web application penetration test. All testing performed is, besting, is based on the NIST SP800-115 technical guide to information security testing and assessment, OWASP testing guide V4 and customized testing frameworks. Really boring stuff for some people, but this is the industry standards. You can see right here how it's demonstrated You know, with the five phases. Basically gets you the assessment, the target, the type. It's a black box pen test. And we did not do any denial of service attacks on this test because that's on the server side. We did not do any phishing or social engineering because that's, again, that's not the smart contract. I'm going to go right here. There, Here's the severity and the score and the description of the potential threats. Here are the threats that were found. There were eight total. Three critical, one low, four medium. Okay, here we go. Attacker can win a battle. That was a critical. We definitely don't want that happening. We fixed that. Account takeover. That was critical. Yes, it's fixed. Reset gen withdrawal time. Yes, it's fixed. Exposed dashboard information. Medium, still. Attacker can access another user dashboard. We're not having that. Yes, fixed. 
attacker can start a battle on behalf of another user. We certainly don't want that happening. Again, fixed. No limit set on stake parameter. Fixed. Clickjacking. Okay, I was going to say carjacking. I don't think we have any of that here. Clickjacking. Okay, so attackers can load sites in iframe and deceive the user. We eliminated that. Errors should be generic. We got that. That's a low priority. We still fixed it. Here we go. This is how we fixed it. There's the steps that we used to make sure that it's fixed right there. Steps to reproduce. And then, of course, we have all the code listed. So our backend guys configured with the front end guys made sure that we went over all this. I'm not going to go through and spend 30 minutes reading every single thing. You can pause this video. You can read it if, you, if you're really inclined to. You can ask me questions in Discord. I will happily answer all this stuff. But basically, you can see that everything was remediated. You can see how identified. You can see the code. And I'm going to go through right here. And you can see at the end, basically, this was actually, you could see this was V1. We started off with these colors. And obviously, we have a very, very nice DAP now. But that's how we started off with, with these uh, kind of ugly colors. There's more code here. Conclusion. Let's get to that. Battlestake security team conducted penetration testing of Battlestake's ecosystem, analyzed its overall security posture. The application is vulnerable to some critical, medium, and low-level security loopholes, which pose a serious threat to the application. And an attacker can take advantage of these vulnerabilities to get admin access to the application. All of this was fixed. All of this was fixed before we submitted it to PeckShield, as you saw up top on the report. The recommendation that Battlestakes team fix these vulnerabilities as soon as possible, which we did, prevent any damage and improve the security posture to the application. One more time, this was all fixed. You can see it right here. This is engineers right here replied so with a yes, so we are fixed up. Again, if you do not feel comfortable, remember, next week is only pre-sale. This is not the contract that you're going to be buying. This is the contract that we're going to be using at launch for staking, for gen, for arena. The pre-sale had no problems. That's verified. That's going to be on the blockchain. There's no problems there. That's a very low function you know, it just takes in the BUSD and then we're going to distribute the gens afterwards. This is what matters. If you do not feel comfortable, just wait till Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll put out the third party report and we're going to show you guys everything. Again, I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely proud and I can't wait for this week to come. Thank you guys and we'll see you at pre-sale.